What is going on Rocket Powered Sound Designers? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to recreate the brand new remix of Getter's track, All Night. And this is what it sounds like. Yeah, so we're going to be making that first yaw bass that sounds like this. Yeah, yeah, and this is my recreation. Really cool sound here. If you guys like that sound, make sure you guys click that like button if you haven't already. And just a little heads up, this sound does include some post-processing. Um, includes one, our brand new plugin Growlify, which I'll pull up right now. Uh, Growlify, uh, here we go. Um, which is our brand new plugin. It's just kind of to add in the lower end of the sound and really shape it to make it a little bit more vocal. And then of course, in X for Records OTT. Just a little heads up, Growlify is only gonna be available one more week because it's so powerful, I don't want it to be in the hands of everybody, so it's only gonna be able to download for one more week. After that, you're done. It's cut off, okay? By the way, first 500 downloaders, there's still some more spots left. First 500, get a free growl pack. There's a shit ton of growls in there, so grab it now before it's too late. Don't say I didn't warn you, okay? Um, but yeah, it, you don't need the, this is what it sounds like without the post-processing. Not as good, but the growl and uh, the Growlify and the OTT combined really just kind of shape it together and you kind of need it. But as you can see, you don't need uh, Growlify for just growl bases. You can use it on everything. Really cool stuff. So let's jump into today's video. So to start things off, we're gonna be using, you guessed it, frequency modulation. I know, every fucking video, I gotta change something. I don't know what's good, but every sound's using frequency modulation nowadays, so we gotta keep up with the trends. Uh, let's turn on our basic shapes, and we're gonna be using a sine waveform as our host for the FM. So, let's take a listen. Just a basic sine waveform, nothing too big. Uh, let's turn on oscillator B now, so we can actually use FM. And we're actually gonna be going to the warp now of oscillator A and selecting FM. Oh, that's quantitize, my bad. Frequency modulation. Quantize, not quantitize. Let's turn it up. All right, sounds pretty gross because Oscillator B is turned on. Let's turn down that level. Don't turn it off. Turn down that level. That way all the sound is being outputted through oscillator A, but we are still intercepting the frequencies from oscillator B. Okay, it needs something. We need to turn it up one octave. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Uh, one more thing. Let's just play around with the FM for a sec. You'll notice that some tones, it's smooth like this. Well, others, it's got a really like grimy low end. We want to find a tone that has a really grimy low end, uh, but sounds right for the sound. Oh, 72%, that's a route, just, a right, just about the right tone that we want to be working with. So we're going to drop the FM down to about 70%, and we're actually going to modulate it up 2% to 72%. Okay, um, now we're going to create just a very steep slope here um, and put this on envelope. So that way, as soon as we trigger the sound, we get a little bit of movement. Okay, um, that should satisfy this part. We're gonna turn on the filter now and let's just, you know what, the filter doesn't make a huge difference right now. Let's go into our effects section and turn on the uh, down sampler. That way you guys can really hear what the filter is going to eventually do because this is a learning experience, right? We're going to be learning how to make this. Okay. Things are a little bit too quiet here um, to actually hear what's going on. Where are you? I can't see it, dude. We're on a mission. We got to turn on the compressor multiband. Turn up the gain. Okay, now we can actually hear something. That's That's a step up. And, okay, we need to turn up the drive. That's just about the right tone from the original track, so we're gonna leave it at around 46% uh, here. We can always adjust later and see what it sounds like. Um, 
Now we're gonna go back into Oscillator A's filter. And we're gonna be able to hear what the filter's actually doing to the sound. So. We are back in 2012 with the yaw bass. <laughs> we're gonna turn down the cutoff to about 248% here. And we're really just gonna be using this to uh, cut out the high end. So we're gonna turn up our drive. Halfway works fine. And we're gonna turn on the mix just a tad bit. That way we're not overdoing ourselves too much. But see, we're really cutting out those gross frequencies and kind of just focusing in on the good ones. Back to the effects. We're going to be keeping it simple here. Um, we're actually going to be turning on another filter and we're going to be putting it between the distortion and the compressor. Now the only reason why we're using this filter is to make it sound a little bit more grimy because right now it sounds too smooth, need a little bit more grime. We're going to be going into our miscellaneous and we're going to be selecting a low EQ 6. Alrighty. So let's take a listen to what we have right now. Right away. Sounds like we're cutting a little bit out of the low end. Huh. All right. Uh, let's play around with this a little bit. See what we can do. Let's turn up the resonance. See what effect we're putting on the sound. Turn up the drive. Wow, that is some pretty nasty disto. Okay, so that can actually, we can work with that. We can get this, we're basically going to be using this filter as a, uh, distortion so we don't want this mix all the way up to so we're gonna drop it down 38% somewhere around there that way we are still um, getting a little bit of grime in there but it's not overpowering the sound so without the filter okay not too shabby right uh, and finally, we're going to put on a filter, or an EQ, I'm sorry. Uh, if you guys are not using Growlify and you're missing out, don't use an EQ because you're going to have to do something else on your own. Uh, but the combination of the Growlify and the Extra Records OTT compressor really just kind of shapes it, especially with, when we have the EQ and we're cutting out a little bit of the low end here. And a little bit of high end. So, uh, we're assuming that you guys are smart, okay? And you, you know, grabbed Growlify for the short time that you actually can because, guys, keep in mind this thing's not going to be available forever. Um, we're going to be just turning up the mix now, turning it on, and turning up the beef. Oh, wow, that is way too loud. So let's turn down the master tab bit, okay. Still very loud. <laughs> so what we're going to end up doing is we're going to turn on our X for Records OTT. You know, in fact, it's probably so loud. I bet you um, it it just got like it started clipping and it sounded distorted. I don't know what it sounds like to you guys, but it probably sounds distorted because of that. I promise you it doesn't sound like that. <laughs> but uh, let's get back into the OTT and we're just going to turn on the OTT. Oh, my. So, right away, we fill in. We're going to cut out the line and fill it in with Grollify and OTT. What that's going to do is it's going to be giving us a, a tone that's a lot similar to the original track. Uh, make it talk a little bit. But that's going to wrap up today's video. Uh, that's Grollify for you. Only available for another week. We're closing it down Sunday, so yeah, grab it while you can. Um, it really just adds beef and like thickens up your bass, making makes it a little bit more talkative if you move around the talk. So it makes it vocal, and on top of that, it makes your bass is clean but dirty and unique. So if you guys want that, then grab it. I don't know how many times I have to say it. Oh my gosh. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one.